Here's what's on tap today on the show. Frivolity. We have no idea. How about that? We've got some good clips I think you're going to like. How many people watched the Sugar Bowl last night? We, I heard some of the uh, Withrow and Hutton. They had uh, talked about Holly, Tr- Holly Rowe just trucking the... <laughs> I think Holly Rowe would be a good hype man for the Titans scoreboard. Holly Rowe had some better hits than uh, <laughs> the offense. Anybody who played defense, for instance, for uh, for Washington. Well, she just had a nudge though, didn't she? That's that's an elbow. Oh, oh well, you saw I just put my elbow. I mean, yeah. but, but but in in uh, media terms, that, that's like a left hook. All right, so I didn't see it until today. So go ahead and describe it to people that didn't see it. Well, everybody's watching. Holly Rowe kind of looks like Sally Struthers. That's a that's a good an, or Miss Piggy would be another example. Whoa, wait a minute! So you go the insult path. Well, no, I mean she does look a little bit like Miss Piggy. Oh, uh, how so, does Miss Piggy look? Like a pig. So we had a situation. <laughs> you said she looked like a pig. A little bit like a pig. We had a situation where Holly Rowe. First of all, Michigan. Poor Holly Rowe. Michigan. She's a good person. But what about the kicker? What does he look like? Because I saw you say something about the kicker the looking kicker. a little piggy. Well, I made fun of my my wife's a Michigan grad, so we were watching that game last night, and she's a she's a big Michigan fan, so she's rooting for Michigan. I said, "What is the deal with your kicker? This guy is he's fat. He looks like he's drunk. I mean, he makes me look well groomed. He looks like I'm out there kicking. <laughs> yeah, like in a skin tight uniform. He look, he also looks. And like why he's can't they get the guy the baggy uniform? Forty years old. Yeah, I don't know why he needs a tight stomach fit. Uh, but he falls starts that's like that's the, the biggest kicker besides besides Janikowski. I can't see any kicker bare. He looks like he false started twice. It happens oh, on did. the high school level a lot. Oh, no. But that's like the guy that wears the skin jeans, skinny jeans that thinks he looks good. Oh man! Yeah, I mean, he had the tight uniform on, which really threw me off. And then and then he false started himself like several. Oh, times. He was money though. That fake. Yeah. Well, he made the kicks, but I don't know how nervous he was. At, at, right after that kick, everybody storms the field, and. Uh, the, the Michigan ho- uh, head coach, Brady Hoke, is uh, uh, another female reporter is trying to talk to him, and she has, like, her phone out. And Holly Rowe has got to get the post-game interview, and there's this view of the field as it swoops in, probably from that uh, from the camera hanging above the field. And you can just see Holly Rowe swoop in and bow and say something to the other reporter to knock her out of the way. She got great position on the low block. Yeah, great position. She looked like Charles Barkley back in the day, late 90s, trying to get a rebound. And so this has turned into just an Internet field day with Holly Rowe, the video. ESPN has been trying to whack-a-mole, take down all the videos of Holly Rowe taking her out. But this is what is impressive. Y'all are so eagle-eyed on Twitter, I would have never seen it if people hadn't started tweeting me as soon as it happened. Did you see Holly Rowe just elbow that girl out? So I went back on my on my television and rewound to go back, and, and I couldn't find it. And then I had to go back further. But this thing is everywhere. So... It's a, it's pretty much a disaster. Welcome back in 3HL 104.5 The Zone. Print Blaney Clay hanging out with you. Follow us on Twitter at 3HL 104.5. Chris on Twitter says, she doesn't look like Miss Piggy. She being Holly Rowe. She's actually Stifler's mom. Oh, that's pretty good, too. We're talking about Holly Rowe last night boxing out to get the interview with Brady Hoke and Michigan's uh, chubby kicker. Holly Rowe blocking out. I thought she did a really good job because think about the think about the pressure those sideline reporters are on to get that interview because there's no way you can't get it. Yeah, I just watched it. I you know I had to go back because I hadn't watched it since it was live. I think she she kind of bowled her out and then she said, "Don't you know who I am?" She said something. <laughs> that's what I that's what I wrote it on my site. We have a contest. Wait, Holly Rowe pulled the. Do you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? You better go. <laughs> Wait a minute. You got that little tape recorder. I have the mic. I'm we have the mic. I always like, we, we throw up contests every now and then for interview, inter, internet clips like this or pictures where you try and caption it. You know, like, what did Holly Rose say? Um, and uh, <laughs> there's so many great possibilities for what Holly Rose said in order to make sure that she got her exclusive interview. Here's the other question. How much would you all have loved if it was the BCS title game, Holly Rose trying to get the interview? What if that had been me and I had just taken, like, a European soccer fall? So when she gave me the bow... If I if I knew that I was on camera, and I just flew back in the air like she had hit me like you know like when the soccer players dive to get the free kick. Oh yeah, that would that would great. how many millions of people would watch that video? If, Holly, if I was trying to get the interview with my little iPhone or whatever, first of all, that's a clear when you're on the field after the game, that's a violation of the overall rules. Like you know that the coach does the first interview. Winning coach is going to talk with the uh, television network, so. She was probably just flabbergasted as an ESPN employee that anybody would step to Brady Hoke before it was her. Wait, but are you trying to defend her? Are you no. trying to defend Miss Piggy? 
How much? How it's funny? Big. How it's much you got it? Should I try and draw a charge at the at the BCS title yes, game? Yes, one hundred percent. Who's the sideline reporter? Aaron today? Andrews. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Andrews. I think she. I think she's doing the sideline. I think I'm not one hundred percent sure. It's Brent, it's Brent Marsberger, and is it usually Lisa Salters who usually does? Uh, I don't usually yeah. watch the ABC game because I'm at the CBS game. Who usually does sideline reporting for Musburger and Herb Street? Is it Lisa? I think it might be Lisa Salters, but I don't know if they double down on the sideline reporters. I remember last year Aaron Andrews was sideline reporting, and I know she's there on the crew uh, in New Orleans. And there are a lot of people already there. They get there like a week in advance. Day you have your phone and act like you're about to interview someone before her and then take a picture of her. Well, Whoa. Holly Rowe, I don't know that Aaron Andrews could knock me down. Holly Rowe probably pounded me. She could, she could if you wanted her to. She got a shoulder into me. That could be trouble. I don't know. She did dance with the stars. She looked like she could be. Yeah. She's tiny. <laughs> I'd take her I'd take her in that fight, though. Aaron Andrews? Yeah, because, yeah, I would, too. Because you're going for the, I mean, you're acting, right? I mean, so basically you're going to flop no matter what. Because well, you're looking You're looking to be on the most watched video. Yes. Right, so, I mean, you're going to take a dive. That would be the most watched Internet video in the history of the state of Alabama. If I took a bow and went tumbling on it. <laughs> so if she tried to use, like, one finger to tap like you on the vein. shoulder, yeah. and then you just, like, fell down like you'd been shot in the head? Yeah. So, like, grab my knee like they do in soccer. <laughs> they have to wheel me off and spray me with that little stuff they always do in soccer, like the cold cream or whatever. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. And they only have it in Europe. Nobody ever gets sprayed with the cold cream like they do in the soccer. A couple of Twitter messages. Carl writes, uh, Roe would have been teed up and ejected in a basketball game. I don't know about that. I mean, she did go she elbow definitely got to teed chest. Up. Well, now you get teed up for for an elbow, yeah. Yeah, she went elbow to chest. As media goes, that's an aggressive act. Most media... Oh, well, she's throwing out media-wise. I'm tough for media. You, you see me, I'm very tough. You, you, walk through a, you walk through a press box. That is true. You walk through a press I mean, box. it's like and, Paul Feinbaum walking around yeah, out there. You walk through a press box. If they had, like, a battle royale in the press box, I feel pretty good about my odds of being one of the last guys standing. And that's not very good odds. It wouldn't. Be, my odds on the field would be zero, and the press box would be very high. Man. It is not a tough group in the press box. It's like Chris Vernon used I don't to say. Know. Some of them, those guys in the press box, they hit you with their their gut. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, they get you down. I don't they, think they you do have the hardcore gut, which it's not like the flabby gut. It's no, like it's the like stone, the solid gut. stone. Like I'm yeah. an old fat man. I've been fat for like 50 years. This it's is, like a cast iron tail in there. That's what Chris Vernon used to say. His goal, <laughs> especially if you're a writer, your goal should be if you fall outside of the top 20 percent writers in shape, you're like in the two percentile. You know, like it doesn't take much to be in the top 20 percent of writers. But if you fall out of that top 20% of writers in terms of physical condition, it's a downhill slope in a hurry. Preacher Jeff, what's up? I'm just going to say, man, to Clay, that Holly Rowe video was hilarious. Yes. Holly Rowe made my night. Oh, that's tough to say, I guess. <laughs> Boy, oh, I don't know, man. How do you get that stuff texted? Does somebody text that stuff to you? How do you stay on top of it or is your journalistic <laughs> deal? Well, Twitter actually helps a great deal. I said during the game, um, I mean, enough people who are watching the game and tweeting and texting, you know, st I mean, texting, usually tweeting during the game that somebody will say, you got to see this, Clay, send it to me. And uh, everybody's kind of, I've got a lot of eyes out there to help me see the most ridiculous things going on in the world of sports all day, all, every day.